AI is not just in English. And these large language models are built to understand other languages. So is Copilot and so is Copilot from Microsoft 365. Maybe you speak Spanish and it's been a meeting that's all been spoken in English. You can understand what's being said in English, but you want to get a summary in your native language. Maybe you want to create content in French, German, or understand what's being said on a Romanian web page and actually have that summary produced to you in English. That's what we're going to do in this video and I'm going to show you how good it is, or maybe it's not, but let me show you what this can do. Let's get stuck in. So I am in my document here. You can see that um, I am ready to go and type some stuff. I can open Copilot down my, the right hand side here to help me, uh, but I'm also can call it in from here. So I'm going to ask it to write something in German, and then I'm going to ask it to summarize the document on the right hand side in English. So um, write me a job description for a .NET developer in German. So let's go off and generate this, not a big prompt, it's gonna keep it fairly various and open into interpretation rather than being something that's more specific. Um, as all my videos, I like to keep things kind of going through and letting them actually build out and you see it in real time. As you can see here, a bit short, but actually I can tell from the little German that I, I know from my school days that it's roughly in the German language. But I want to summarize this document and I want to see this inside of from an English point of view. So can you tell me about this document in English? So the scenario is here, you may well have any document in any language and you want it to translate it and summarize it for you into um, your native language. So again, I like to keep this, to keep going for it is, so we can see this information still working on this at this moment in time, still working. So we've got a few things it builds out. So we can see here, there's a job description. This document is a job description for a .NET developer. It's kind of what our prompt, uh, our prompt was. Tasks, main areas that we may well be using, need to be able to have requirements, three years of experience in these particular languages. Um, and benefits, the benefits of the .NET developer as an attractive salary and flexible working hours. So obviously this is just a summary, but it just shows that actually it can go off and it can actually translate this for us and give us a summary for uh, as part of our output. What I want to try now is to try and translate this actual document into English. So can you translate this document into English. Let's see what it can do for us. So waiting for a response for you, looking things over, working on it, and there we go. It's actually translated this document for us, or it's translating it for us. Um, I'm just looking over on that left hand side. It's roughly the same structure. So we can see here we offer is roughly the same things that we see there. I can see where the that the requirements of good knowledge in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, those kind of things are actually almost bang on. It's really good to see how these translation services are working from, at least from a word point of view. One of my favorite demos to do with customers at the moment is around what you can already do with Copilot that's added as part of the Microsoft 365 license. This was previously called Bing Chat Enterprise. You see it's enterprise because of the protected button here so I know I've got that commercial data protection as part of things. Now what I've loaded here is the uh, Sky News equivalent in uh, Italy and I'm going to ask it some questions around this particular page. I can tell it's a little bit about um, Elon Musk and the new Nero link that's been created. So I'm going to ask it to translate this page for me into this uh, and give me a summary. Now I have got translation services built into Edge already. So when I loaded the page, it asked me, do you actually want to translate this directly? But I want to summarize it. I want to be able to see it. Maybe this is something we can do with PDFs, which is what we're going to have a look at in a minute. So can you 
give me a summary of this page in English. So as Copilot does, it consumes the content of this page. That's something that it does inside of Edge. So we don't get this inside of Chrome. So sure, here it is. And actually, you can see now this information coming out from an English kind of side of point of view. So uh, Neuralink's first human implant, um, its goals, where the trials come from and about how it's actually been approved. And it's an approved thing that you can go off and do. Jumping to a PDF, I have um, got a document from uh, the Romanian Ministry for Education. And again, I'm going to ask it some questions around this. So I've just restarted Copilot. So I've got a fresh conversation that's going and I'm going to ask it to give me some information about this document. So it's an eight page document. But I'm going to ask it to do a summary. Can you summarize this document for me in English? I have no clue around what was being said inside of here. Uh, but I do want to understand this a bit more. I spend a bit more time in the ed tech space as well. It's really good sometimes to understand what other countries are doing. Sure, I can summarize this document for you. Here's a brief outline of things. So again, it's gone off. It's understood what language is it in. It's understood what's actually being said. And then it's converted this for me into English. So as you can see here, I can say, sure, I can summarize this document for you. Here's a brief overview of the main points. The document is, is an order issued by the Ministry of National Education of Romania regarding the relegations of classes with intense or bilingual teaching of a modern language in pre-university education units. And then obviously I can start having a conversation with this in English, even though this is a Romanian document. So I did a video uh, a while back ago around Teams and how you can use Teams and Copilot together. Um, I'm jumping back into that interview that I did with Richard and I've gone into the recap section. In the recap within Microsoft Teams, I have Copilot, which looks at that transcription and tells me what's available. So after what we've done here, you can kind of see I've actually already done some of this here, but this interview was conducted in English. Uh, both myself and the interviewee, Richard, was in English. So I can say, can you give me a summary in a, uh, in, of this meeting in Spanish? Now, I did that as part of my test and I got it to Spanish. Let's, let's do just a different language for now. So can you give me a summary of this meeting in French? So maybe I work for a company where I spend most of my meetings in English, speaking in English, but actually my native language is French. And I want it to help me to understand what was happening in the meeting in my native language to be able to do that. And as you can kind of see here, instantly I can actually start talking to the translation of the data inside of my language only because I just ask it to be able to use things in French. So you can see there, it's kind of giving us out all sorts of different information um, as part of this. I find this really powerful, the opportunity that this gives for people where English is not their uh, kind of a standard language, or if you're in any country where that country's native language is not your native language, means that actually we can go off and we can start to do meeting recaps. Let's have a look at PowerPoint. So here we are in PowerPoint, as you can see, and I want it to be able to create me a presentation. We're also going to do a translate um, of the uh, presentation just to see if we can get the services to be able to do that as well. So can you create a presentation on the NFL Super Bowl in Spanish? So let's see, I know we can go off and we can easily create uh, different uh, presentations based on subjects, but I've never actually tried it with and asking it to do it in a different language. This might be perfect for students in a school to be able to do it. Unfortunately, it's come back with a message saying, I'm sorry, I was not able to generate these slides for you. Is there something I can do to help you build this presentation? Let's try and do it in English or without giving it a language and take it from that point of view. Can you create a presentation on the NFL Super Bowl? 
So at least we know that that prompt is working and it's maybe something else to do with um, uh, the fact that we're adding in Spanish. So we'll let this run just to see what it's doing. It's obviously pulling information from outside the network, seeing what it can do. I can see at the bottom there, it's kind of doing, so the NFL Super Bowl, America's most watched sporting event. So we've got six slides that have been added, as you can see here. Um, obviously, this bit's in here. I like the fact that I can actually say, can you swap this image? Can you swap this image for a stadium? and it is building this out for us there you go so it's readjusted the slide put a football stadium in there as well so i'm going to ask it now can you translate this uh for us into spanish so can you translate this slide into spanish and we'll see what it comes back with looking things over i can't do that just yet the things I can help with is review and select the suggestions or use a starter prompt. So that's where we're going into Copilot Labs to be able to do these things. So I know that we can go into review here at the top and we've got some translation services in here, but these aren't necessarily baked into the product or certainly not into PowerPoint at this moment in time. So let's just try one more kind of thing. Um, so we'll say, it's the very top here you see these elements create presentation create from a slide add a slide about the last winners of the super bowl in and we're gonna do german just to make sure it's not a language issue because we know we've seen things in german already from this video point of view we'll just see what this comes out with and see if it could do anything with this so actually it's done something from that point of view, which is really interesting to see, to add a slide about last winners of the Super Bowl in Germany. In German, let's do it again and just see if we can change it into Spanish. Let's see if it's a Spanish issue or actually I just need to do slightly better prompts. So Spanish. Work on a response for you. So maybe we'll get something very similar. Almost there. And there you go. So we've actually got something in there. I can see that it was a Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, that won in in 2021. We don't actually have 2022 or actually the 2023 winners there. Uh, but um, it does shows that actually we've got uh, the ability to add and create individual slides, at least in a, a different language um, as part of these things. What a great set of features that we get with Copilot. What you may well get as part of that free license but also what we get as part of our Microsoft 365 when we bring in that commercial data protection. But also if you wanna start taking this advantage of this inside of Teams and helping individuals with creating content, translating content, helping them inside of meetings and being able to let them translate things that were said into the meeting into their native language. What a huge productivity and well-being factor that actually we are bringing to the workplace by implementing Copilot, Copilot for Microsoft 365 and AI. I think this is just a start and we'll keep an eye on this in the future. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe and leave a comment if you do actually speak a different language and tell me was any of that text correct. Speak to you soon.